organization ours to talk about matters concerning health and how we can give back to the society. Karibu sana Lydia. Thank you very much. You're well? Yes. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Yeah. And I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. For, for honoring us and honoring the invitation. I don't take it for granted. And I would like to start first of all by saying HSC. Wow. How, uh, w what happened that led to you being awarded by the president himself, in the, uh, you know, the head of state's uh, commendation? Okay. Uh, being a nurse by profession, yeah. I like what I do and I like um, the work just from training up, mm. to, up to now. Mm. And I like being part of the team or lead the hands team. Involved uh, hands on. Yeah. And uh, I, w I was not surprised because uh, when it concerning matters concerning health, mm. I like to be the front line. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's how I was spotted and I was awarded HSC in terms of Corona because we were the first people who were because we were after participating in uh, Ebola, mm. we were the first front front liners to be to start the Magadi. Mm. A hospital for Corona. Mm. Yes. All right. Yes. So um, let's talk about these two two mm. things here. So uh, first, you say you were awarded the head of state's uh, commendation because of your involvement in uh, uh, Corona, Ebo Corona and Ebola. Yes. Corona and, Ob and Ebola. Yes. Um, let's talk first of all talk about Ebola because uh, you were there when they started the first uh, 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 site, mm -hmm. the first uh, uh, institute where we had actually the first ward yes. in Kenya uh, for Ebola. Um, yes. How did that come to be? Okay, we, uh, I was working in the Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm. We were selected to go for Ebola training. I was uh, among the first people who went. And after going for that training is when Ebola was uh, very serious in West Africa. Mm. We started an uh, 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 admission center in KNH, in the Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm -hmm. So after training that, and then uh, I was selected to go to West Africa mm -hmm. when Ebola was really hot. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I went and uh, we fought Ebola till we, it was no longer there. I remember that during that time it was it was it, it, it was such an outbreak that uh, many lives are lost yes at, at, at that time and of course people are even skeptical about you know even traveling was a problem yes yeah. especially the health uh, the health profession yeah uh, it was very uh, devastating because most of them died uh, mm -hmm. because once you come in contact with the Ebola patient if you have not protected yourself you get the Ebola and you 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 that's can the end of you. yeah that's the end of you wasn't wasn't it um, psychologically uh, traumatizing for someone like you? You know, you've you've traveled to a place where I don't know if it, if it was the first time to go. To it was West the first time to go to West Africa. I yeah. never been there, mm -hmm. and we went through the long road to North America, to Central America, and then West Africa, mm -hmm. because most of the 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 routes were were closed. Mm -hmm. So it was it was it was not easy, but we just put God first and say, if my death is meant to be in West <laughs> Africa and then let it be there. Yeah, you because say, you if are, I will die, I will die. Yeah, if you are die, you will die because you are going to save life and you have been trained. So mm -hmm. it's just like uh, an army person going to fight the enemy. Mm -hmm. You don't know whether you'll survive or you'll, you'll come back. So you just go there praying God that let me can help those people. They, they, they get their health back as well as protect you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and then you planted the first Ebola ward here in Kenya. Yeah, when I came back, I, I thank very much the Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm -hmm. They gave the responsibility of starting uh, the first Ebola ward, that mm -hmm. is IDU, Infectious Disease Unit mm -hmm. in KNH, which is still there. It's still there? Yes. Fun um, how, it's uh, functioning, how functioning. It has been handy, even especially for Corona. Mm -hmm patients are really getting help from there. Mm -hmm. yes. So um, is that the same word that has also been uh, uh, used when it comes to COVID patients? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is the same word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in including Bagati. Now that one was the, the intensive one where you get now those people put on their ventilators. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, uh, so, so how, how um, was it? And of course, your participation when it comes to uh, the fight against COVID, Do, from the time we had the outbreak, 
and of course it was announced and then we are seeing uh, curfews being put there we are seeing restrictions uh, uh, masks uh, uh, sanitizing and, and, and social distancing uh, how is it for you working at KNH and of course as a uh, health uh, practitioner medical practitioner yes. during a time of COVID because now you came Ebola was there, mm -hmm. now Corona is there, but you're still the same, same person handling all these pandemics. Yes. Okay, when the Corona came and I was appointed to go to Mbakati Hospital, uh, it didn't shock me because after going through Ebola, because in West Africa we were seeing dead people all over the streets, mm. everywhere. Wow. So I, I, I was not afraid because I, I, since I, I know to protect myself and protect others, mm -hmm. I was not afraid to go and uh, work in a corona ward, mm -hmm. of which I went. I worked there. By the way, I got corona. That is you in March. Yes. Wow. And uh, okay. I was given the treatment, and I, I, was, I was well. You had to... Yeah, quarantine. I got infected uh, mm -hmm. with COVID. Mm -hmm. Yes, how, that is in March 21. Mm. That is 2021? 2021, yes. How long did it take for you to recover? Uh, it took about two weeks. Yeah, but if, uh, since we are to keep yourself and uh, away from others, mm -hmm. I was just in the house for more than one month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, you know, during that time, people lost their jobs. Yes. Um, uh, y y yours was secured. Yeah. Mine was secure since I was uh, the now the health provider. So I, they were just to wait for me to, to exit, uh. to die or come back on duty. So <laughs> God helped me. I came back on duty, mm -hmm. uh, very healthy, and I continued. Uh, nursing the COVID patients. When the vaccine came, I was the first one to get the vaccine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I, I didn't worry about uh, getting it again because I knew I was protected. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I, I love your passion. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, you, you don't give up. Yeah. I know. I don't give up. I don't, I don't even fear death. You don't? No. If it will come, it will come. There was, there's no reverse. But since the God is still loving me, I have not died, I will continue giving the health to other people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, now um, Bushos, I, I'm seeing now those medals that you have. Um, sure. So um, are they, t t t tell me about this. This is the, now the... Uh, this is the, the hero one. The one I got the hero, I was awarded at the Kisi National Stadium uh -huh. by His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh -huh. Yeah, for being uh, brave to go to West Africa, now uh, Corona, I got this through the, through the, the, uh, through the National Heroes Council of Kenya. So uh, I, I was awarded this in Kisi. That was the Mashujade. Uh, Mashujade. I okay. was awarded this. And then the same year, that's 2020. Mm. The same year during uh, uh, celebrations, National celebration that is uh, 12th December. Mm. I was also added the, the honorable. Oh, so this is another one. So yeah. I, I, I don't know if you, like, um, you can get that done. Send you. Uh, that, so this is another award. Yeah, that's this what, for that's HSC. This for? This for HSC, mm -hmm. uh, state commendation. Mm -hmm. And this for hero. hero for oh. being a hero, yes. I thought they are one. Kumbe? They are different. They are oh. two different. This for HSC. Uh -huh. And this for hero. All, all right. Mm. Uh, so you can see the one on, on on the on the left side of your screen. That is a HSC. Yes. Of which that is called the head of state. Commendation. Commendation. Yes. Awarded because of what? Because of participating in a corona uh -huh. after Ebola. After Ebola. Yes. And this one is for being yeah, a hero. A hero to go to West Africa uh, and come back because of Ebola. And of of of, of course today even on our our Facebook page, the, uh, uh, that's at Y254, we even ask a question. How big are your dreams? Una plan what a legacy gani? Someone like Lydia, you've already left a legacy. Something that people can remember. Yes. Uh, and of course, if, if, if you, uh, you go somewhere and you introduce yourself, uh, uh, you mention the things you've done. Yes. Let's talk about the things you plan to do now. Okay. Uh, uh, after being honored, and uh, we get a lot of talks from our leaders mm. through the Heroes Council of Kenya, 
how you should uh, help other people in just from the grassroots mm -hmm. to recognize you that you have been recognized by the president and help them in any way you, you will. In maybe now me, I'm in health to help those people who cannot help themselves in terms of health. So you want to go out and give back yeah, to the community? Yeah, I go out and give back to the community and uh, identify those uh, challenges, problems, especially for hearing now that I'm an audiologist, mm -hmm. identify those challenges and help those people to, to obtain their full potential of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so now children, they are born not hearing. Mm -hmm. By the time the parents realize they are not hearing, already they are past school age. So if they are identified at early age, so interventions and technologies are there to help them just hear like any other normal person. So how, how do you plan to go through this, um, out, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, do, do I say outreach program? Yeah. How, how do you plan to go ab uh, about it? Is there any specific particular areas that you want to focus on? How do you plan to go about it? Okay, now the last five years back, mm. I've been planning how, how well I can do that, and that's why I went to specialize in audiology, mm -hmm. beside my nursing profession, <coughs> and other small courses, uh, critical care, emergency courses, HIV, all around. Mm. Uh, I thought of it how I can put in one umbrella or one packet so that when I go out, I'm able to give any health care. Mm. as it comes. So mm. I, I started the process of uh, starting a foundation, a health foundation. Mm. Uh, I was inspired by those people who have started before mm -hmm. a health foundation and you find they really go on the grassroots to help those people who cannot uh, help themselves in terms of health challenges like hearing, maybe they are sick and they don't know where to start, mm -hmm. they can't even come to Nairobi for better treatment. Mm -hmm. So that is my focus. So uh, you're, 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 you're saying you won't focus on just hearing only? Uh, not hearing, just held as a whole. Because health as a whole. Yeah, that uh -huh. is an inclusive, inclusive of hearing. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. so initially you were thinking of just hearing, yes. and then later on you changed your mind? I, I changed, I said I should include everything because when somebody comes to a health institution, mm. you might think uh, you have a headache. But when you reach after investigators, you have a bigger problem. Maybe you have a hearing problem. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a other big disease like hypertension, mm -hmm. or diabetes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which you don't know. But yeah. after investigation, you get that is what is disturbing you. So you are just channeled in the right, you are referred in the right place. Mm -hmm. Or you are helped from there to go in the right place mm -hmm. and get help and you have good health. But now you, you have to start from a particular area. Yeah. Out the is there a region? Yeah, the, the foundation is called Outering Health Services mm -hmm. and the audiology, that's a hearing center. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm planning to start, if I get assistance, I'm also looking for assistance, mm -hmm. if anybody can assist me so that I can start that he uh, hearing center plus daycare mm -hmm. so that I can make it back to the community where I can identify a place and start it so that I can help that those people who are on the ground. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you're looking for um, a, a place? Yeah. And, of course, um, uh, some sponsorship or support in terms of um, yeah, support in, in terms of anything, because I need to procure the machines, mm. the health institution, just those things, the basic, to test mm -hmm. if the patient has come maybe he doesn't know what he's suffering from or doesn't know the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, you should have all the, all the services there. Mm -hmm. Counseling, audiology, uh, a doctor to see them, uh, and uh, also speech. Maybe the, the, the children need, maybe the, where they have reached, they need speech therapy. Mm -hmm. They need to be assisted so that they can talk and then they continue to go to school. Mm -hmm. So all those services combined together, I want them to be in one center. In one center. Yes. And, 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 and that's all give back to the community. Yeah, just the, 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 the bottom line is just giving back to the community. I love that. Mm. Um, let's talk about the community itself. Mm. Um, what are your thoughts in regards to the state of, um, of, of health care in the country, mm. um, but pick it, picking it up from COVID? We've come from a time when uh, we were restricted 
and now you can see go to town no, masks are no longer there you and me i don't have a mask <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh mask mm -hmm. and people no longer have that um mm -hmm. what are your thoughts in regards to that now th the mood is changing yes actually the mood has changed yes yeah it has changed because uh, they are they are following our leader to say that now the infection rate has gone down mm -hmm. But the protocols still remain. You are supposed to keep distance. Mm -hmm. And if you are in a crowded place, you wear a mask and you put it on. Because you don't know in that crowd who has corona. Mm -hmm. And you, might get, you, can, you can pick the corona from there. Mm -hmm. So it's just to, just to be careful if you avoid crowded area. And if you are to be there, you have to have a mask. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Mm -hmm. Yes, um. yeah, people to get vaccination. And then the life continues. Your thoughts about healthcare in the country so far? Um, how, in, in, in the steps you've taken as a country? Um, how far are we? And uh, sh do you think, based on your your experience from where you sit, that we are where we ought to be in yeah. terms of healthcare in the country? Yeah, in terms of health, people have responded well, especially on the vaccination side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because. Uh, 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 weighing the, the way corona attacked us, nobody wants to to be sick in a short time and go to ICU. So people, most people have been given vaccination. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there are people who have not been vaccinated, there is a very small percentage. I can't really quote the percentage. Mm -hmm. But uh, based on what I, we see in the hospital side and how people react outside there, people have responded well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, of, of course, Lydia, as you as you bring this conversation to a close, I would like to you to just um, uh, have a final word, and of course, give a general comments in regards to this. Um, what message would, would you like to pass to those Kenyans that are watching you this particular Tuesday morning? Okay, for those Kenyans who are watching just me, just briefly, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would just urge them to just take care of their health. If there is uh, somebody who has not been vaccinated against the corona to take the initiative because it is, it is good for that person to keep health so that we don't continue losing our loved ones through simple, uh, avoiding simple vaccination. And uh, it is good for our health just mm -hmm. to be protected by uh, just a simple job mm -hmm. and you stay healthy and uh, you eat well. Mm -hmm. Yes. People, and Kukula, Missouri, well balanced diet. Uh, yes, this uh, the very balanced diet. You you are what you eat. Uh, what I eat. You, we we are what we eat. What is what we eat? Yes. You know, there is uh, the junk food, but uh, these days people are trying yeah. to balance the <laughs> food and <laughs> take for good health. Uh, yes, and take so plenty of water. Uh. Yes, and uh, those people who are watching me, uh, I would like to get any assistance so that I get this dream, this big dream going. going. And, and, and it, it, it will, it will. Um, mm. you, you've done a great job, a fantastic job, mm. and uh, I know it will uh, mm. catch up. Yes. Um, how can people get in touch with you if they want to get a hold of you? Um, how can they reach you? Okay, they can reach me through my email. Mm -hmm. That is lydiamuhai at yahoo.com or my website for the foundation. Mm -hmm. That's uh, services and audiology assessment center mm -hmm. dot co dot ke. Mm -hmm. All right. So yes. get in touch with her mm -hmm. in regards to that, and of course you shall be able to get all the information and the details you need because we are giving back to the society. Lilia, thank you so much for coming. You're doing a good thank job. You. I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Asante sana. Yes. All right. Now that that brings us to the end of this particular conversation right here on Why in the Morning. But remember, we still have more coming up your way. My name is Ram Maguko. Keep engaging with us. Keep talking to us. The hashtag as always is uh, Why in the Morning. We still have a, have a lot in store for you coming up your way. We're taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit.